This is From Page Africa Live. We are in discussion with the co-founder of the Lee Football Academy, Moria Football Academy, uh, the judges Moba. The judges Moba, welcome to Front Page Africa Live. Uh, thank you so much for having me. I'm, I'm honored to be here. Uh, the judges, um, there's an issue regarding the institution you you founded. Uh, will you mind explaining to us what's the latest information regarding that institution? Because we learned that you uh, you were kind of suspended or dismissed. Okay, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, I mean, like you said, it's, it's, it's really sudden, and you know, that I, I try to see how best I could give back to my dearest country, and then I've come to Liberia, and then today be caught up with this uh, uh, terrible situation, and, you know, after uh, uh, giving my all to Liberia, developing those skits that we all as Liberians celebrating today. And I've come now to the to the stand where I've been attacked, I've been fight, you know, by my own Liberians for this uh, uh, betterment and for the future of these kids. Uh, so tell me, there, there's an issue that said uh, there's a rumors that you, there, were, there, there was a rate of arrest and to your person. Uh, uh, was can you mind talking to us about it? Uh, of course, I'm open to that. I mean, I mean, it was uh, 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 last week uh, on Thursday, and, you know. Uh, while grieving for my for my late my late brother may so rest in peace and then on, on, on uh, Friday evening my lawyer called me that there was a writ a arrest you know for me to turn over my organization uh, 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 properties you know and, and sadly uh, I mean uh, football equipment that will come and will normally distribute to the kids which I have done already uh, the Clara Unvoco the woman who's now who did not know anything about my organization who begged me, asking me to please let her be a part of that story. That the woman fighting me along with Musa Shano. And you know, in a way to clean and to hijack the academy for me. And you know, so they went to the court and then he should wait on me. And you know, when we have several matters to discuss at the Temple of Justice, when we have several matters because the court already had a case in their, in their chambers. That we're supposed to go and talk about it because they, they went to social media and said that I, the co founder, were dismissed from the organization that I created. How possible it is? What's the logic in that thing? So, as a co founder, or uh, uh, was, was your partner uh, involved too, as well? Or is he in the know regarding then writing the rate of the rights to, to some of you to at the court? Well, I can tell you what, uh, I wouldn't want to speak a, a lot about him with this identical situation because uh, I, I, I'm not so sure. And, you know, that all of these things that are happening, and, you know, but we have not spoke for a long time. I can't say whether yes or no, but I feel like it's fair enough since it's all Liberians that are fighting me now. And, you know, I show, I'm 100% sure, some way or the other, I mean, it's possible he could be involved. But I don't want to speak of much, a, a lot about him at the moment. But what currently you said that those people are on their way, was that the two librarians you previously talked about? Those people are like Musa Shannon and the lady you spoke about, who is the executive director. Uh, what does the, the article in cooperation say about your, so your being dismayed and turning priority over when you are the co funder? Why, why does it speak to that? Because I'm totally unaware of the article in cooperation. Why does it I, spell out? I mean, the, the article in cooperation does not even give a, a right to, to. By the way, we have Clara Do, and you know, I had to put a librarian on the article in cooperation as incorporator. That has she got in the picture. She had no idea about my organization. I held there as an incorporator and a uh, board member. So the same thing with Musa Shano. So the both of them legally don't have right, and, you know, to say, yes, they can ask me out of my organization, out of my organization that I created. So the article of, of incorporation does not speak that. This is something that woman stood in the crowd in front of the, 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 the 87 parents saying that Liberia is not a lawful country. She will use the money that is in our account. And that was happening. I went to UBA today. We don't have a penny in our UBA account. The, more, the lead model for academic account has been, have been empty. Clara Doe and her team, they squandered the money to go and fight case. This money is for a non-for-profit organization. And, and, and now the money has been used to battle me. So what your next action since the money are being used? Because when you are suspended or dismissed, uh, there are all other things that they are allowed. 
And what would be your take in now you know that uh, you are aware that the money that been supposed to be used for operational funds for the organization is being used by those uh, individuals who are trying to fight you? Well, let, I mean, it's good that I'm here and you know, I'm calling on Liberians in Liberia, in the diaspora, because this thing gets to do with our country, the future of those children that are, that are, that are talk from 10, uh, 9, 8 years till today. So I'm asking Liberians to get involved because this is not about, it's not about me anymore. It's about the future of this land. It's about the future of those children that are out there. So if they're using the money that I'm able to raise and through my, uh, 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 my great instrumentality, and, you know, that I brought fame and attention to Liberia, and they're taking that money to go in and, and cause chaos, say they, 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 they're fighting me for the dream that I brought to Liberia. Liberia now, we should, get, we should all get involved. They'll be talking about the future of the children. What the current status of the institution as a reader so enrollment and students going to school? I'll tell you what, this is the sad thing they did. The children who brought the fame and was able to make all of the good things happen for the school, they and their parents have shared the time with our numbers. They will not have their, their kids on the campus until the situation has come to a standstill. We are now in a normal situation. Clara Doe and, and her team went to, to, to uh, uh, Carisbury unlawfully dismissed. Ten staff, you know, out of no reason, you know, People who have been working with the academy with their all, with their heart, with high level sincerity and honesty. Okay, then um, the mm -hmm. situation on the campus is really, really terrible. So, uh, as, as I speak right now, all of the students we have in the school are stay home. They're not going to school. They have been begging their parents to get involved. They have been asking to see if Liberian can, because the kids have now getting so used to their school. They're getting so used to the environment. They've been well taken care of by me and my and the few team members that I've had. And, you know, so it has not been a normal situation. What they went, they did, they recruited random kids to go and tell them that we're having a school going on, which, of course, we don't have a normal situation there. I'm asking the PUL, the Genesis of Liberia, to go to the Kirisberg campus, see the situation there with the kids. It's not a normal thing anymore. Uh, so you just highlighted something very important. Who brought those? Who brought Musa Shana and the lady on board? And besides that question, you talk about the taking random students. I know your own formation of, uh, of bringing students on board. They go about taking practical tests. They right. go to go to a theoretical test. They pass through that channel. Uh, how does it affect you now? How do you see the program? And who brought Musa Shana and that of the lady you're talking about on board, who brought them? It was interesting to know when we started fresh, we were at BYC and that of Muslim Congregating Facilities where we go and play football in the morning and go to school in the afternoon. It was one Thursday afternoon in 2017. This old woman came to me saying, Oh, um, uh, young man, I've heard the good news of what you're doing for Liberia. And at that time, she was the mayor for mm -hmm. Montserrat. She said, Please, this is exactly what she said. Please count on me whatever you need me because what you are doing is so great. We should support you. And, you know, and then I, I, I started to think about it, you know, looking at her, you know, I felt like she could be your help. I did not know she had another motive. And, you know, and yes, and today, they clean, they had issues that I was accused of. Until today, we're gone three months now. Nobody. I've been to all of the radio stations I've been on that two few days ago on my social media. Nobody can tell you a jank. So before it was so cold, there was a zero conspiracy. And you know, the woman came to me, begging me. She wanted to identify with this thing that I'm doing to Liberia. So, and, and, and Musa Shannon as well. Like, I was opening my arms tonight. I did it in good faith. I did not know it was going to be like that at the end. Okay, then the next question was, you said the, the school, allegedly that the school is taking to uh, yeah, randomly. randomly. Yeah. And I know that's not the format from the Lee Football Academy, Moral Football Academy. Sure. Uh, I, I know for the father, you go through a V-cross training right. exercise where they go and take text and what have you. Uh, uh, what, what, what is your own take as it relates to that 
or, or scope, new scope of operation now? It's rather unfortunate. It's rather unfortunate. I've never been like that. We don't do like that. What I did when I came to Liberia to run this was I want to make sure there's a real good skills where we can be able to evaluate kids that will bring you to the academy. And you know, that's why I got the academy standard so high academically on the field as well. So we go to communities, have a meaningful football tournament. Let uh, the Orange Band sponsor in it. And you know, those kids will go and take their tests and then play football that will be able to evaluate them and get their own. When 